We love love. Love love. In any form, even when it's the depths of humanity that are in love. Kim Zolciak and my man, Chet Hanks. Oh. Heard of him? Maybe if you haven't, uh, he's got some famous parents, but at this point, are they Chet Hanks' parents? You're referring to Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. Yeah. And they have another kid, too, that's like super into acting, and I'm sure we know his name. But then there's Chet Hanks, and I don't know what Chet Hanks really does, except make me LOL, am I right, ladies? But Anyways. he's got this like hard on for the weirdest people, <laughs> and Chet- that happens to be Chet Hanks. Chet Hanks is kind of aware that he's the worst, which like own it, you know? I don't know. I've watched him enough on things where I go, I feel like me and Chet Hanks would have some lulls. Um, <laughs> Chet Hanks and Kim Zolciak, they were together on what was the reality show? It was like Surreal Life. Thank you. Mm-hmm. They were on the Surreal Life. She was only there for a very short amount of time, but at one point they were laying in a bed together, which of course were Whoa. like. Well, I mean, it was like they actually make kind of sense together. She's going through a hardcore divorce. Well, they helped fuel the rumors last night because they went to a Jelly Roll concert together and posted about it. <gasps> and if Jelly Roll doesn't say love, I don't know what does. Right? Uh, she wrote one of my absolute favorite concert and everyone that was part, wait, what was such is part of this massive operation is beyond kind. There are no words for the happiness and joy that surrounded us that night. I saw a whole lot of sparkle in the crowd. All I, all I want to know is this, Brittany. Yes, queen. Why do we need this couple? Cause like, okay. Take away the fact that like, I weirdly want them to be a couple. Isn't it (laughs) better? It's like, isn't it better when two vile people are together? We don't want them out in the world with us normal, lovely people. It's better they're together. Mike, do you believe any of this? Um, I kind of want to. But you don't, do you? I don't. Do we know where this concert took place? I want to say LA, LA. Okay. but I may have made that up. He, no, bas- I think it's LA. he basically was like, yeah, I'm, I'd be willing to move to, to Nashville or to Atlanta and be closer to try to like, you know, see where this goes is where they left things after the surreal life. Well, I just want to know what either of them really has going on that's keeping them anywhere. Like Kim has kids. I get that. Like, yeah, like a bunch. Atlanta, so get that but chat like i don't think la is gonna miss you so you you're not like getting the door broken down i'm gonna calls kansas city i was gonna say i don't think it was this la was kansas city oh, i made that up then it's okay we i think what last time they hung out was in la so i get yeah. I, we both were guessing la because of that but i was like i feel like it wasn't from meeting in the middle that's so cute, that is cute. I don't Our, need this, this happens a lot though if you're like not a high on the list celebrity. Like this happened on the Taylor Swift concert or like Eras tour a lot. Like if you're not a super high, like A plus celebrity, you're not going to get VIP treatment in like SoFi Stadium. Oh, good point. But if you go to like maybe the less attended, there is no real VIPs mm. that would attend there. And I'm not saying they're, they don't have their own VIPs, but like our celebrities we got here in Minneapolis were definitely different than the ones they got in like Miami. What? That's genius. Thank you. Oh, I don't need these two, but I kind of like it. It's fine. Okay, speaking of somebody we do need to know more about and the internet's agreeing, Pedro Pascal, they were on the red carpet for the UK premiere of the Gladi- of Gladiator 2. Mm-hmm. We're all very excited about it. But the one who stole the show was his sister, Lux Pascal. We're going to put it on our show page. The point is, absolutely stunning. Who the heck is this girl? I ended up Googling her and there's like all these sites that were made today that were like, <laughs> who are Lux Pascal that AI like put together, you know, f- stupid do, do, facts do, 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 do. that they like grab from Wikipedia just so you get like clicks. People are now like, this is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Her outfit, her everything. It was a Act- great outfit. Stole the show last night at Gladiator 2. So go check it out. Love that. Okay, X couple alert that we love to talk about because it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Brianna Chicken Fry of Barstool Sports. Well, she just dropped another episode. She just dropped some more tea about her ex, Zach Bryan, who is who again, Mike? Oh, Zach Bryan. Yeah, country music star, but don't confuse Zach Bryan with Luke Bryan. And Luke Bryan, of course, don't confuse with Luke Combs. And uh, Zach Bryan is also not Zach Brown, who's not Kane Brown, but 
Zach Brown did sing Chicken Fried, and Zach Bryan dated Chicken Fry. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you. Everybody needs that. So uh, she basically said, here's the deal. I could say so many worse things about him, but I'm not because my whole intent of this is not to make people hate him. It's to let other women know like, hey, this happened to me. I I know what's happened to other women. I'm trying to help people. And they were specifically talking about this birthday party because then her co-hosts were like, so you don't want to talk about the, the birthday party. Dave Portnoy was like, I know that the birthday party was epic. And we're all going, what birthday party? Because they talked about this a little mm-hmm. on the first one. It was a bonfire where he lost his mind. Like on all of her friends, right? Yeah, like all of his, her friends and her family, like her aunt. Like she's very close with her family. Her aunt was there and he like screamed at everybody. She went to bed, woke up to him screaming. And I, I don't think she even says the extent of what actually happens. Which basically is what she says in this like, like latest tea. She's like, I I have so many worse things I could say, but that's like defeating the point of all this. He is still silent. By yeah. The way. And I think a big part of like she addressed that in this podcast as well, is like people keep going, why is he silent? And so she goes, I have the videos. And yeah. so if he wants to say something, if he wants to deny it, I have the videos. Mm-hmm. And so she's in a real place of like, F around and find out. Like, and all of a sudden he's just like, oh, I'm actually getting my master's in France. I'm like, going nobody to cares, bro. Yeah. He is so homely. Have I, you seen pictures, like some of these pictures that are oh, getting yeah. dumped about him? I'm like, I, and you can say this when someone's a monster. I know. He's homely AF. His hair, let it go, bro. I know. He's let death gripping to these strands. It it's, looks terrible. It looks really like, um... Yeah. Let it go. It looks like it go. his head shape and hairstyle is very Frankenstein monster. Like if you just went full green and just committed, it would be perfect. You nailed it. He's a Lego. He's a Lego piece. He is a so, Lego so, man. Yeah, he's a Lego that man. That is his it's head awesome. shape. That is like there. He is, let's just call him LM. You get his Lego little man. hand with a guitar in there, and he just holds the guitar. He's a Lego man. So one of my favorite things happened because so Brianna. Obviously, Barstool Sports is based in Boston. She's from Boston. And if we know anything about certain cities, like they have their own. And Boston is one of those cities. So the Bruins, their NHL team, had a little shade for Zach Bryan. Listen to this clip and see if you can put it together. Last night we let the liquor talk. we let the liquor talk. So... They're literally, the team is going through very random, like weird activities, like someone's cooking, someone's walking yeah. in the store, someone's sharpening their skates, and they're all singing or humming the Morgan Wallen song, Last Night We Let the Liquor Talk, because that was the song she was humming one morning while cooking breakfast that Zach Bryan lost his mind on her about. I'm yeah. like, yes, King. Yeah, they have her back for sure. Yeah. 